Won't let them boss you around, eh? White hair. Flies around shit instead of Greetings. Come to look over my spring collection, perhaps? Glad to take a glance at what you got. Of course, please do. If anything chafes or pinches, I can alter it on the spot at no charge. Once... Stop staring at the kids, you're scaring them. What is it you need, boy? Bugger off. Shave your mug. So long. The grey one again. Door's been swinging off its hinges all day. They're Temerians. Cowards all. Fled across the Pontar, said they defended their fatherland. Oh my. Certainly took my request to heart. I mean you weren't being serious? Still got time to change. Don't you dare. You look great. You get everything? Learn anything else about Albert? Well, almost none of the mages have heard of him. An amateur, I guess. So why the interest? Temple guards first, then hunters? Uh, he's easy prey. And that's exactly why we should help him. Everything's ready. We can go. A shame events like this are so rare. Without them, I'd never get to see you dressed up. <sighs> Damn, doublets chafing my armpits. And it feels like they sewed wires into this. I'll be sure to admire your valiant suffering the whole time. Well then, shall we go? Greetings, my lord, my lady. We're Lady Ingrid Vagelbud's guests. Your invitation, please. Rules in order. You'll find Lady Vagelbud in the estate's yard. Look for the parrot mask. Now, one more thing. I'll leave your swords here, please. Fine. A pleasant evening to you both. been outside the city in ages. <laughs> How could he? With that scrawny harlot! Come now, don't cry. After all, he's not the only man in the world. But he's a baronet. Where will I find another baronet? <laughs> Hello. No one's pretending you don't know me. Is that any way to treat an old mate? Refuse to acknowledge him? There's been a mistake. I don't know you, sir. Don't be foolish, Vivian. I'd recognize that mane anywhere. You might play the great dame now, but before that Baron Edward something pulled you from the gutter, you were a common... Enough. The lady said she doesn't know you. Who's this? The new one? Older than the last, it seems. A decrepit, moss-covered prick. So, the less they can, the more they pay. Is that it? Let's go, Triss. Wouldn't want to make a scene. Vivian! Hey! Oh, I liked you much better when you worked the carriages outside the passive floor. Huh? What a jackass. Monstrosity. It's 
spend all night spanking whores. So tired, you're positively pale. My husband's a supervisor by trade. Well? When I catch little Miss Clementine, what then, eh? What then? I'll beat your mangy snout, that's what. Please leave me be, sir. <laughs> Ooh, la la! The little miss is a minx. She is a minx. <laughs> I must steal a kiss, my lady. You shall see. Just stand still and remove your mask. You're drunk, sir. I shall tell your wife. Do so, but first a kiss. Do not unhand me, sir. I could be your daughter. A role play. I relish the thought. Just stand still and hold the mask. You're drunk, sir. I shall tell your wife. Do so. <laughs> Moritz, what are you doing here? Little Miss Marigold. Well, well. And I was led to believe this would be an elegant affair. Yes, I missed you too. But can we put that aside for now? Do you have a way out of Novigrad? You can join us if you want. Join you? And just who would I join? Your friends, among others. Once we've all gathered, I'll lead you. You will lead. Forgive me, Marigold, but that is like allowing myself to be led by a lame duck. Farewell. Who is that? He's an old friend. His name's Moritz Dyfenthal. I'll tell you the story later. My, is he ever so oh, let's look around. Have you seen Durgoff? Just a moment ago. Oh, apologies. I mistook you for my friend, sir. He wears a similar mask. General Voris. Geralt of Rivia. So, oh, I was not entirely mistaken. Pleasure, as always. This is a beautiful and mysterious lady. Let us leave the formalities to the event's end when all will remove their masks. More fun that way, wouldn't you agree? I would, sir. And now I must beg your pardon. I really must find Durgoff, and quickly. A lovely evening to you both. The truth is, we're already dependent on the Black Arms, economically. Radovid's not a whit better than Amir. Mighty. Ah, another challenger. Please join us. Sir Devonan just vacated his place at the table. It's rather unlikely he'll be back. What happened to him? Some good men took him aside to prevent him from hurting himself. So, shall we play? First, you shall face Margrave Vladimir de Cray. The man can afford to lose, so he's likely to be reckless. Let's do it. So, one more round. When the cards come your way, you must spring on the opportunity. Your next opponent, Count Gomu Sili. In his day, his father lost the family estate in the Nimna Valley. Seems Gomu has followed in his footsteps. Yet, do not underestimate him. Desperate men can be dangerous. Let's do it. So, one more round. When the cards come your way, you must spring on the opportunity. Sir Marius Florin. They say he never loses thanks to his Zugelbone amulet. Naturally, I could tell you more on the subject, but... Let's do it. Oh. We're all 
already depend Bravo. on the The lovely Economic. lady clearly brings you luck, sir. Intolerance her, and superstition have always been a fault, Remus. Time to invest in newbies. Well? Radovich stands for simplicity. He's a wonderful lake of soap again, but some cold breeze. Yeah, what a bad. Do you ignore my husband's suit? Do you ignore my husband's suit? Do you not breathe? I repeat, do not go any closer. A second chance. <laughs> Good one. Cemeteries are full of men who thought old Joel would give them a second chance. Siggy, I'll be. Geralt! Damn it all. How do you recognize me? The mask. Dead giveaway. <laughs> Perfect, right? Could take it off and no one would know the difference. <laughs> hey, Reuben. Look at that. My favorite accomplice. What's this? Taking a day off from saving the world? Well, we've jested and laughed, but I have a sense you're in a hurry. Really? You know, Geralt, somehow I dislike running into you at parties. My bones start to ache, as if bad weather were approaching. Later, Geralt. Later, Geralt. Stop. Tongues. No one will notice in this crowd. Have you tried the trial? I read one hungry? book is all. No more. I couldn't possibly take another fight. I'm in no mood. <laughs> I'm in no mood. How dare you! Yes, it's me. The trout buyer? Hmm? Oh, yes, of course. Please excuse the precautions, but perhaps we could speak somewhere in private. Thank you for agreeing to help. My valet warned me you might come with a friend. I'd prefer as few as possible knew of Albert's flight, but if you trust this man, like no one else. Any sign of the hunters recently? Since they attacked my servant at the market, none. All has been quiet. But I bribed a man of the temple guard. He claims there's more and more talk of Albert in the ranks. How did the guardsmen learn about your son's interests to begin with? <sighs> Unfortunately, I cannot be sure Albert himself was not the source. Merely boasting about an experiment. He's careless that way. Like his father. A kind man, but a dimwit. Devoured by an Arrakis. I don't know if you've heard. Yeah. Must have traveled far and wide. Hardly. He attempted to breed them. Perhaps I should be pleased Albert adopted alchemy as his hobby. A safe one, relatively speaking. Until recently, that is. Let's get Albert. Where is he? Entertaining the guests. He's always been an outsized presence at my receptions. I preferred not to arouse any suspicions. When can we take him away? We shall have to wait until the guests have imbibed enough to notice only the goblet-laden trays. Don't fret, it won't be long. Is your son ready to go? We'll have to act quickly. Yes, I've seen to everything. Where will you take him? 
You're better off not knowing any details. He'll be safe, I promise. But please, trust me. It's not the first time I've done this. I know. Thank you. How will we recognize him? He's donned a panther mask. He knew you were due to come for him. Seemed rather excited, ironically. I'm afraid he's not fully comprehended the danger he faces. As I said, he's not terribly bright. Don't worry about that. He'll fit right in with a good number of the other mages. Geralt! Let's go find him. I shall await word from you. Breathe! My husband is so... Albert Vagelbud? For you, my sweet, I can be Adolf Valentino. Oh, oh. Oh, sorry, so well, well, highly recommend. I miss it. Albert Vagelbud? Do I look like a pathetic buffoon and mummy's boy to you? Well. Oh, by the gods! I knew old Grimstone if I'm out. A colossal boom. Oh! oh. And? And? Oh, Nothing. Stop. I leapt out of the way in time, naturally, and it merely singed my eyebrows. Alchemy can be a dangerous sport. Oh, my! One needs the agility and reflexes of a panther. Rawr. Don't you fear the pyre, Freak? Yes. Nice mask. <laughs> Albert Vagelbud? No. <laughs> I'm a black panther. <laughs> oh my, count! Your excursion to Novigrad. We should talk about it. Oh, so you are. Yes, when can we leave the estate? Well, Mama said it would be best to wait until everyone's drunk. Besides, there'll be fireworks later, a jolly good distraction. Once they've begun, I shall slip away, saunter into the garden, We'll meet in the hedge maze. Be waiting for you there. Very well. But first, you absolutely must try the Fiorano Rosé. Absolutely. Hope Albert hasn't forgotten the reason for this whole get-together. Wanna wait in the garden? I saw a nice spot there earlier. Relieved to get that mask off. If only for a little. Great view from here. And there's even wine. It's been so long since I've been to a feast, ball, or reception. Amazingly pleasant change from the sewers of Novigrad. So, does this mean it's a good time to ask you about? Yes. About that mage we met earlier? 
Ah, oh, Moritz. What do you want to know? How'd you meet? <sighs> Geralt, all mages know each other. Some are well over a century old. That's plenty of time to make acquaintances. In that case, when did you meet him? At a feast, long ago. He walked up and just blatantly offered to teleport us somewhere quieter. You turn him down? Is that what you think? He actually pursued me for a while afterwards. Got the impression he doesn't exactly like you. I just think he'd love to have me as his charge, rather than his leader. See, but you're the one organizing the Mage's escape from Novigrad. Sometimes I have no idea how I actually managed to bring them all together. Personal charm. That's what it's about. <laughs> Careful, that sounded like a compliment. Glad it did. Oh. Are you trying to... Someone's coming. <laughs> Is it Albert? No, just some lost guest. Shh. <laughs> Must be looking for his beloved. Like in that elven tale about the frog and the lark. Inchu, inchu, bag broga. Inch by inch, little frog. <laughs> Shh, let's go. Oh. I sure hope the other guests don't get drunk as quickly as I did. Sooner we get out of here, the better. Oh, no. I plan to have a good look at this famous maze of theirs first. I hear the statues there are completely. Entirely... Entirely what? Newt! <laughs> Come on, Geralt! Triss, wait! Geralt! Coming? Careful. Miss Merigold. At last! So sorry we are forced to meet under such incredibly inopportune circumstances. You can say that again. But I'm sure we'll make up for it another time. I absolutely must show you my alchemical formulae. Anyone follow you? I don't believe so. Just in case, you two switch masks. We'll go first. Geralt will follow right after. Saddled horses await in the stables. Good. Meet you there. Albert! Why do you hide? Albert! There you are, my love! Here you are. So, about this private showing. 
Under any other circumstances, I'd give you the full Monty. Oh, I, I'm sorry, I... Albert Vagelwood. Please, step away, miss. Nobility's not towards you, Count. Try anything, and you will get bruised. <sighs> Doubt it. Begun to worry. Ran into some trouble. Hunters? Will they come here? No, we've got some time. But please send someone to the garden. Needs a little tidying. I shall see to it. And you must hurry. Everything said? Yes. Got your swords back from the guard. And Ingrid gave me the coin. It's, uh, it's more than I expected. Stunningly more, frankly. Excellent. So where are we gonna get away to? You? Nowhere. It's finally possible, probable even, that we can get all the mages out of Novigrad. You know where to find me if you want to say goodbye. Goodbye? What happened at the fountain? It was my fault, I know. The, the wine went straight to my head. I'm sorry. Triss, don't apologize. Miss Marigold. We need to go. I know. Be careful. Where are you scurrying to, Rich? Let's see your pass. Pass? What pass? Kind of pass confirms you ain't no mage. Can't enter or leave Novigrad without it. Why have you shut the city gates? So as we can clean it of mages, witches, and other scum that's crawled here since the war began. Aim to catch every last one of them, toss them on a flaming pyre like poxy livestock. Sorry, don't have a pass. You'll scurry no further then. Next! Hang on, how do I get one? Start by making an offering to the church. Then you'll need three pure souls to confirm- Let him through. Here's his papers. What? But we're- Not your concern. Back to your post. Regards from Siggy Reuven. From the beats? You don't know me. Present what you've got, what you aim to bring into the city. Oh, small things, sandries, this, that, the other. Oh, you, a truly officer, you ought to fret about here, because... Search him. Find anything suspect to the dungeon with him. Next!
problem. Your Who do you think you are? Surround him! Been alone, Shark Long? Aye. Since I was just a little tyke. So you helped your dad, took it over when he died? Nah, my own father left me here in pawn and never did redeem me. <laughs> what would you say to a few rounds of Gwent? Wondering if I could take part in the races. If you've coined for the rider's fee and a steed of your own, why not? Decide quickly, please. There's a race about to begin. These races. Tell me about them. They're run as per Erasmus Vega Bud's dying wish. He came into his fortune by gambling and remained proud of the fact to the end. Family doesn't mind having a racetrack right by their house? But the house, his fortune, would not even be theirs had they not fulfilled Lord Erasmus's wish. He made it a condition. Any special rules for the races? They're as simple as Lord Erasmus was. Two competitors, simultaneous start, first to complete a lap around the track, wins. I want a race. Grand, your name and the name of your steed. Geralt of Rivia, on Roach. Excellent. Your opponent, let me see. Seamus Holt, astride Athos. Competitors, saddle up! On three! One, two, three! Off you go! Vagelbud Memorial Derby is over. The winner is Geralt of Rivia, riding Roach. Glory to the victor! Not bad, yet we shouldn't kid ourselves. The competition was hardly stiff. Shall I sign you up for another? Like to race again. Excellent. Don't go anywhere. We'll start soon. Your opponent this time, Viscount Roma astride Caniculus. The Viscount races incognito, so I must ask for your discretion. Competitors, saddle up! On three! One, two, three! Off you go!
the Erasmus Vagel Bud Memorial Derby is over. The winner is Geralt of Rivia, riding Roach Glory to the fifth. Bravo, congratulations, you won in style. Shall I sign you up for another? Want to try again? Gained an appetite, have we? Your opponent this time, Luke Vagelbud, young Lord Albert's cousin, atop Succubus. He's the black sheep of the family, but he's not lost a race yet. So he's seen as something of a local champion. Competitors, saddle up! On three! One, two, three! Off you go! of the Erasmus Vagel Bud Memorial Derby run, is Roach. over. The winner is Geralt of Rivia, riding... Slower. Fantastic race. Congratulations. A grand victory. Captured and displayed in a sideshow of a circus. Well, it could be quite profitable. Geralt of Rivia. Got it right. What do you want? To express my admiration on account of your victory. And here. Brought you an invitation from the boss. He'd like to congratulate you personally. Farewell. Grimoires and tracts blaspheming the sacred flame especially. Best not cause any trouble at the end. Grab before I lose my patience. Thanks for the invite. Congratulations. Quite the winner, the Vagal Buds. Luke's one hell of a prick, but I don't recall him ever losing before. And seeing as you outran him, you actually stand a chance at Paleo. Make some real coin. Fine. I'll race. Lovely. Colour me thrilled. Just don't bloody let me down, because I'm about to bet a small fortune on you. Go prepare. Drink some chamomile or whatever the fuck you do. The Palio is above all a race of honour. The winner doesn't just win a reward, he earns our respect as well. So, take your positions and get the fuck going. 
Rodeo is above all a race of honour. The winner doesn't just win a reward, he earns our respect as well. So, take your positions and get the fuck going. Never had a good up for proving you. Congratulations. Let's go! Help. Give us a kiss, Geralt. No? Then I'll smooch that roach of yours. That were lovely. And my pay? Take it, you cheeky bastard. Never met a man who earned his coin fairer than you did today. Temple Guard! Scatter! We gotta get the fuck out of here. Thanks, Geralt. She cast no spells. O on my honor. An elf's honor worth less than a man's shit. It's Calamon. Uh, go. She brought teas for stomach pain. Aha! So she did make potions. True, make a note. The more tested. Potions? Are you mad? Yes. No monsters here, just humans. You seek someone, stranger? Yes? The last individual who tried to come in on my business, it took them a month to find him. Am I being clear, Chief A? What's the fuss about? Can you not treat me as a bit of healthy competition? Why are you even talking to him, Duke? I've always maintained two smashed knees are worth a thousand words. <laughs> oh, get out! Glad you came. What's this about? Ugh, nothing. I just wanted you to meet my new pals before they bugger the fuck off. Because we were just parting, right? We'll have our reckoning yet, Chief A. Soon. What's this? Some flea-ridden mutant got you scared, Duke. Just say the word. I'll take care of him. Take a peek at what he's got inside, then make the midget eat it. Sound good? Next time, Earl. Let's go. Right. And don't show your hides run here ever again. Uh, well, that puts me up to the neck in fucking shade without the shovel. Shady, those guys. 
Who were they? Uh, puffed up fish bladders, Duke. Word does he's out to be the new horse son junior, but the bugger's missing a hell of a lot. Specifically coin, influence, men and class. And the other? Errol. A scum jug like few others. Skin of my arse twitches at the sight of him. Back in Mahakam, we'd send so buggers like that down the coalface with a bundle of powder and a leaky lamp. What's this all about? Doing business with them? Exactly the plowing opposite. You see, Geralt, old pal... About to ask me for help, aren't you? The thing is, I sort of kind of owe a wee sum to a mutual acquaintance. Francis Bedlam, the King of Beggars. To pay off the debt, I've made up my mind to get serious about Gwent. Getting better by the minute. Not the playing of it, mind you, but the cards themselves. Rarest of them fetch princely sums these days. Sadly, that's not exactly arcane knowledge. Got a buyer in heat for my collection, missing just three cards. But Duke's dregs are all over my arse, so... What do you say, Geralt? Fine. We'll try to hunt down those cards. Which ones you need? Fringilla Vigo, Isengrim, and John Natalis. Devilish hard to get hold of. Duke's been trying too, hasn't had any luck. Wait, you don't even know where to look for these cards? Nah, it's not as bad as that. I'm betting Zed's got them. He quit fencing recently, only deals in cards now. Unfortunately, the arsewipe won't talk to me. Not after I bought a one-of-a-kind Scoyatel card out from under his nose. Would you mind going to see him? Zed? Hmm, sounds familiar. Big fish in the card pond. There's a shop along the south wall. And thank you, Geralt. I actually think I stand to pay off this debt now. No problem. See you later, Zoltan. Telling you for the last time. Go Trouble. away! Wonderful. Oh, mercy! We two I'm children, how are they? How are they? Without a father! Go before they lose their mother as well. White head like a miller's son. What do you want? Oh, oh, the no! We yeah. are yeah. Like the now, Drop your weapon! How long you gonna make me wait? Zed's inside, and in hot water. Gotta find another way in. Well, well, another freak. Zed to spill where he keeps a ledger. I tried, didn't I? Might have pressed him too hard. Shit. Well, at least we got the Isengrim card. Greetings. Oh, fuck. Come on, Ringo. Time to shine. Get him!
grim foil tiana from the square tau deck. Wonder how much this card's worth. You'll look fucking amazing. On top of me. You always wear tight trousers. You always wear tight trousers. <laughs> About those cards. You got them? Got the Isengrim card. Show it here. Ha! <laughs> the sea hills are beautiful. Zed give you much trouble? Zed's dead. I ran into his murderers. Won't cry over spilt Zed. What about the other cards? Didn't find the other cards. Fuck! Bugger must have sold them. Listen, got Zed's ledger. Show me. Hmm. Entries show him selling the cards to Caesar Bilson and Ravi. Uh, could have been worse. We need to pay him a visit. So what's in this cabinet? Ah, no man knows. You'll be the first to see it. I suspect it's either to do with buggery or metallurgy. But you can tell me once we're done. Let's go! Shivi! Caesar Bilzin! I remember our quarrel about who's king of the Pontar. The Pike's king of the Pontar. Ah, well, see, uh, I've come to convince you it's the catfish, and I do not come empty-handed. Who's he? Well, him! Well, that's, that's Geralt! Does say, uh, Geralt fish? Yeah. Cast an earthworm the other day. Caught this huge perch. And the ponta! You betcha! Can't listen to this hogwash sober. Come in! So what the zanders are eager biters if they taste like shite and soapy water? That's because you're about as good a cook as a goat's arse as a clarinet. It just recently, I took some fresh thyme. <laughs> and it tasted like thyme flavored shite. <laughs> Shut it. So, recently, I, I took this thyme. Geralt? Care to chime in? How Xander taste to you? Recent early isn't a word. Did you bring along, Chivi? Some blowing grammar purist? Well then, did you hear Vibo Batilda last cast a pea and caught a young pike? Ah, cocksuckers lying like always. Ponter Pike aren't so dim-witted to go after his rotten peas. You need live bait. Or night crawlers, though the pike aren't as eager. Run away. Once, dug up a crawly so fat and lovely I started drooling. Would have eaten it myself. Uh, not so sure. Hey, Geralt, what do you and your pals use up at Cair Morhen? Bombs. How's that? <laughs> well, I've heard many jests lately. Though, true enough, that one wasn't very funny. Geralt, go fetch us another bottle. Right, you can see the bottom of this one. Hmm, fits perfectly. Secret door behind a bookcase. Classic.
with which Stefan Skellen was hanged. Joachim de Vetsko. Hmm, pretty grim curiosity. Batier de Rideau's dagger. Dining set from which Emperor Amir ate during his coronation ceremony. Full armor of the 7th Dareland Brigade. Excellent condition. Portrait of Emperor Amir. Temper on wood. Pretty flattering, I'd say. Zoltan, time we were on our way. <sighs> I suppose so. It's grown late. Wait now. Leaving already? Where's that bottle you went to fetch? Greetings, Belzin. We've a message for you from the boss. Message? What kind of message? Mr. Cleaver's very unhappy. Uh, now, just a minute. If any discrepancies have cropped up in the books, I can explain everything. Too late. Grab him, and you two get lost. Leave him alone. Cleaver will pay extra for killing the witcher. Well, pop to it, lads. Haven't you got all day? You're looking weak. Thanks. Oh, how will I ever explain this to Cleaver? I'd recommend a letter. Right. Got a pack. Good luck then. Farewell. Oh, you've a soft heart after all, Geralt. Oh, by the by, splendid job with that last one. Blood splatter nearly hit the ceiling. Looked through Caesar's cabinet upstairs. And? No wonder he wasn't eager to show it off. Nilfgaardian armor, a portrait of Emir. Joachim de Vet's skull, Vatier de Rideau's dagger, the rope they hanged Skellen with. Oh, oh, oh shit. Disgusting fellow. To think I shook hands with him. Uh, but did you happen to take the rope? I know a few would pay a tidy sum for it. Some go in for that sort of thing. No. Ugh, if you say so. Also found a figurine. Nilfgaardian soldier. Magic spell on it of some sort, but I can't tell what kind. Triss ought to know. Good idea. Take it by your house when I get a chance. 